Now we're going to play with iron filings and a little bit of water in our test tube. So for this experiment, you'll want a test tube, something to rest that test tube in so that it stays upright, a piece of scrap paper for making a funnel with, a magnet, and some iron filings. So if you have your piece of paper, first we're going to make a funnel out of it, and we're just going to do that by creating a cone shape and taping it. So I just have a little hole down at the bottom that will fit into my test tube. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of tape. And then I'm going to trim the top up. And so I have a little homemade funnel for getting my iron, magne iron filings into my test tube. So my test tube is already about two thirds full of water. It's up to that between the six and eight milliliter mark. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to set my funnel into it. And I'm going to pour about a teaspoon of iron filings into my test tube. Now again, these iron filings are not good to inhale, so you'll want to be careful with that. If you've got little kiddos, you might want to just use one of the masks laying around the house um, while they're doing this. And I'm going to stop talking while I'm pouring. I tap the iron out of my funnel, put the lid on my test tube, and now I have some water with some iron at the bottom. We're just gonna play with our magnet. As you can see, we can chase the water, the iron up, do all sorts of cool playing around, seeing how they connect and make cool shapes. It's just a really fun experiment for playing with the iron. If you have two magnets or you have magnets of different strengths, you can see how they interact with each other. And then if you wanna go ahead and fill your test tube the rest of the way up so that you don't have air bubbles, you can do that as well.